Sun. Kuliban, Schluter, Bandera, Catchball, Dunn, Emiliantsev, Betar, and Bennett. This is the men's 200 meter freestyle S14 final. You can expect the Australians to get off to uh, a very good start, and indeed, Ricky Betar has born in Osaka, just uh, a little south of the capital city, Tokyo. Just 0.6 reaction time, but he's come up very nicely in front, but is not being uh, taking advantage of his position in the pool. It's catchball and done through the center. Done looking to make the advantage and take the lead at the 50. Yep, done. He's hitting first 25.88. That's a great first 50. Dunn, he needs to attack this 200 because you know at the end, the other Brits, the other Australians, Bandera, they're going to come up on him hard. And he doesn't want to be out-touched and see a silver the way that he did in the 100 fly. You know that he's still upset about that. You know he is indeed. World champion Reese Dunn, world record holder Reese Dunn. Is he going to go close to his own world record? That we'll find out in the remaining 100. He's leading out now and he's extending his advantage off the wall. He goes a, a little bit of a hang on here from Ricky Betar. He's good off the wall and so too Bandera is starting to make his way through the field. He was a little down on a few swimmers, including Emiliansev, but now has put himself up into second already. Yep, here's Reese Dunn, who's about half a second ahead of world record speed at the 100. And Bandera, we know that he can close. Look at him right now with that very powerful stroke. And here's Reese Dunn going into the 150. He's still ahead of world record pace. He's, he's going fast. He is going fast, but uh, Gabriel Bandera of Brazil is going faster in the stroke. The question is whether or not Reese Dunn has enough left and enough speed to keep off the Brazilian. It's a massive battle for the bronze, as virtually a blanket could be thrown across the uh, swimmers going for bronze, but the focus is on the world record and whether or not Dunn can hold on. Is he going to? Bandera's looking good in the stroke, but Dunn's going to get there, and in world record time as well. Bandera is beaten after upsetting Dunn in the fly, in the free. It is reversed as Dunn out touches Bandera and a smashing bronze for Emiliansev, who came back beautifully after being overtaken by a couple of swimmers in the pool while he couldn't reel Bandera back in. Reese Dunn has broken his own world record. And what a swim, 152.40 seconds. Over half a second quicker than he had previously gone. And Dunn is congratulated by the world championship medalist alongside him. Emiliansev, though, takes the Paralympic Games bronze here. Catch ball alongside him, and Emiliansev quick to offer their congratulations to the champion who's taken out the world record at the same time. Bandera will doff his cap. He knows that it needed a world record swim to beat him. A 152.74 for Bandera. Bear in mind, he would have taken out the world record by 0.22 of a second as well. He swam under world record time. He closed so impressively fast. He was a full body length behind he at the 50 meter mark to go, 50 meters to go mark and touched not even a hand behind. Yeah, I mean, Bandera, but we knew he was going to close fast. Here's Reese Dunn off the block. He had an excellent start, and he took out the fi first 50. It was controlled, but it was very, very fast. I mean, he still attacked it because we knew that he needed to give himself, as we noted, at least a body length lead over Bandera. Here's Reese Dunn off the wall. Beautiful underwater kick. He uses that to extend his lead, and then he pops up here. And here he is again. It's very controlled, but the this, this third 50 is really where he starts to take it because he needs to get ahead of himself. And here Bandera right now is closing in on Reese Dunn, but Reese Dunn, he puts his head down and he surges for the touch pad. Well, that's a big victory for Reese Dunn. He was bitterly.